How do there guys and welcome back to Edgar TV where today we're going to take a look at five things, five things within darts that we do not see anymore, things that would have happened in the past that I don't expect that will ever be seen again in the future. One of those is the perception and the perception around how we take out our finishers in the past shots which was a double-double combination or where you go unnecessarily for the ball at the end of a shot would have seemed a bit disrespectful. We now see 120s where people go ball-ball if the treble 20 appears to be blocked and the double-double shot is no longer seen as a disrespectful shot but actually more the percentage shot and more the correct shot due to the fact that the double's bigger and sometimes in the case we've just seen there that you'll be able to stay on the same target. Another thing Walk on girls. This is something that we've seen in darts a couple of times. We saw this many years ago. It then got rejuvenated and then it got cancelled back in 2018. This is where one of the female walk on girls would have walked the player onto the stage and been part of that whole process. They would have left before the darts was thrown, but I don't think this is going to be something we ever see come back to the sport. If you are interested to know what happened to all the walk-on girls, make sure you do subscribe to Edgar TV because I will be doing a video covering what happened to these ladies after 2018. Now the next one is something we kind of still see in darts a little bit depending on who the referee is, however it is one of the things that is phasing out. Now what used to happen is when someone would have a low score, for example like a 7, the referee would go 7 scored. We saw this little quirk along with many others, remember years ago when a player would hit the winning double you'd get the yes, that's game shot, where now they just say game shot so some of these will come down to personal individual quirks of the referees but the word scored after a bad score now appears to be moving out we now appear to just have seven now if you cast your mind back or you look through youtube you'll find that back in the day like all things have evolved and changed, you'd have seen that the players was actually not only smoking inside, which is now obviously illegal, but having a drink while playing the game of darts. Now, this was really brought to light in a sketch that pretty much ruined darts for the short term. It was a sketch involving Fat Belly and even Fatter Belly that was on TV, was everyone thought was quite humorous at the time, but it really did ruin the image of the game and the sponsorship. And then in steps Barry Hearn to come and clear things up. And they actually evolved the game more than just what you see. It was actually in terms of cleaning up the game and turning it into what it is now, which is a professional sport. If you think about darts, it was originally a pub game. This was your system before. You played your local league, that was in your pub. You then went to play your super league, which was played in pubs or in clubs. You'd then go play county, which was played in clubs. You'd then go play in the nationals, which was played in clubs. If you went and played in tournaments, in tournament play, that was played in things like caravan parks, where again, in sort of that sort of club environment and atmosphere. One thing that we have seen since the involvement of things such as Matchroom and the evolution of the PDC is the game come away from that sort of environment into sports halls in a much more professional environment and obviously an environment now that allows the development of the youngsters come through without having to go through that sort of pub and club system. We now have things such as the JDC which is where the juniors get to play in a professional environment away from the old settings. The ADC, again, these play in sort of arenas, clubs, the Moda Super Series, which is an opportunity for people to gain experience of playing in front of the cameras. The PDC have their own systems, the Development Tour and the Challenge Tour, which again take place in the same sort of environments and settings as the PDC Pro Tour. So there is now a pathway and the development of a professional sport rather than what we used to see back in the day. In the old days of the Lakeside and the BDO, you'd remember the best of order. And they would even call for the best of order, please, in terms of the, the referee and the announcements beforehand with the games. We might remember a famous incident where we had the if you want to boo, boo in the car park announcement as well. But the evolution of darts and how things are changing, we are now moving to more of a party atmosphere a little bit more of a, a football type crowd where you get people that actually want to go to the darts now based on their watch on tv and go oh that looks like a good night out i do fancy a bit of that we'll see office parties at things like the world championship premier league events selling out up and down the country as people put on their best fancy dress and head on down for a night at the darts 
And that is my five things of things that you will not see or things I don't think are going to change that have come from the past in terms of darts. Let me know what you think. If there's something that you think has changed in darts over the last however many years, go down to the comment section below and chuck it in there and share away what's trying to make this even into 10 things that have changed in darts that I don't think will go back. On your way down there, don't forget to hit the like button, that is your thumbs up, and subscribe to Edgar TV. who are closing in on 40,000 subscribers, it would be great if we could get to that mark pretty soon, so if you do watch these videos, please do press that button, I'll catch you soon for some more Edgar TV. Edgar TV.